At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is week. This is week. This is week. <laughs> this is this <laughs> is kind of week. I'm this, so weak. This. What was I thinking? I was thinking worse of the week. We're not going to call it that because we already had a show called that. But uh, so Doc and I, we don't have enough X Men stuff. It's not uh, coming out. I, I just I can't keep talking about all the only bad X Men comics. Yeah. If we're going to talk about bad X or bad comic books, period, we're gonna we're gonna expand ourselves. So this is going to be a weekly segment. We're gonna fa- find two comic books that are absolute dog shit. We're gonna have some fun with them. Obviously, Absolutely. With me is the X Men story and the Marvel fishing out of Doc. How you doing? I am great. If I figure, look, I, 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 at this point, I'm known for just shitting on comics. So, you know what? It was getting a little monotonous to just, just shit on the X Men comics that are that are bad coming out. So, we decided to go find stuff. And you know what? I, I really appreciated the ones you gave me because they are very outside of my wheelhouse this week. These are not Absolutely. books that I normally read, and they're awful. And uh, Doc is living the gimmick. I'm just going to put that one out there. And we're going to we're going to bring some. Uh, uh, we got some opinions on these. We're going to talk today about Wonder Woman Evolution Number One from Stephanie Phillips. One of the worst. Uh, oh man, there's some bad DC comics out there, but this one, as far as the debut, it's going to be hard to beat. And then we've also got Exo Man Award Number Eight from Valiant Comics. Exo Man Award, probably my favorite character in all of comic books. Yeah, Doc's not all that familiar with it, but it, I got him to read this and be like, because I wanted to say to you, check, is this as terrible as I think it is? We'll talk about that one second. First up, we will talk about Diana Prince, part of the Trinity, Wonder Woman, Evolution, number one, Stephanie Phillips, Mike Hawthorne on, on art. I like Mike Hawthorne's art for the most Sometimes. part. It's not great. It's normally passable, but this is one of the worst looking Wonder Woman comics I've ever seen in my life. If you look at this, the side views of Wonder Woman's face, it looks like Sylvester Stallone would play Wonder Woman if this was a movie. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I've seen, like, Mike Hawthorne's art. I, it's passable to me. It's it's nothing great. It's nothing terrible. Most of the time, it's it's merely generic comic book artist B. Uh, but this time around, I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if they're just, like, are they paying him in, like, Subway sandwiches? Um you could tell they must have halved his rate or something because he did not put in any a skosh effort. Of effort. You know what no. I'm saying? Not a skosh. No, this looks like this looks like he handed in some basic breakdowns as finished pencils and was like, "Here, you do whatever the hell you want with this. Um, find an anchor, just have the colorist do it. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me that you know for what you're paying me, not worth me putting in a, in a minute extra effort." Um, so well, yeah, this, this with an extra effort that would have required he put a minute, in a minute of point. effort. He just yeah. put a he put some pencils down and said, here you go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he just threw everything together. Like he just took all the paper and the pencils and put them in like a rock tumbler and whatever came out is what he handed it. Um, what was no. the, what was the, the show that used to kind of go against Saturday Night Live where you had the Wayans brothers and um, Jim Carrey? Oh, uh, In Living Color. In Living Color. Remember the, the the Jim Carrey character that was like the female Conan? Oh, yes. Vera. Yeah. I can't remember the name I, I don't of the remember. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the character. I remember the, the little, uh, like, ponytail bikini. on top yeah. and the bikini. That's and- what Mike Hawthorne, he... he, he Printed out a couple pictures of this and put them up, and then he drew that character as fucking Wonder Woman. I swear oh, to God. Sh- Holy shit. I never thought of that. That's perfect. It's so bad. <laughs> it was. Look, this is this is the worst illustrated. This was some like how do you like make Wonder Woman ugly? I, I don't know. Well, you know what? They did it in that uh uh the Nubia book. They did it in a couple of the other ones. Is where Wonder they Woman made... in the Nubia book? I never well, read it. Uh, I thought it. I thought she was in there, but just for a short period. But there was another one like a year ago where Wolf, where Wonder Woman was just plain hideous. She just looked like a barbarian the entire time. I don't remember what book it was. It was another one of those like YA or maybe it was a black label book. I don't really care. Um, 
it was atrocious and this was only marginally better this would be like if you did it but with um some really bad 3d modeling uh of jim carrey dressed of as, yeah of jim carrey dressed Carrion. yes exactly <laughs> um because and the look, story is probably worse doc it's the story or the art worse stephanie phillips does not even there's i think not, she just whiffs on everything on this one there is no not a, there is not a semblance here of actual plot like set up this just is stuff happens and then yes. the very end there's a cliffhanger where the the comic should have started yeah exactly or that should have been about four pages in she wasted 20 pages to get to the last page which should have been the about the third finger, page. the finger is the start of the story He's i like, know get out of here so don't buy issue one if you want to find out what this story don't is buy it, period. Start on she, issue two. if stephanie phillips can't take the time or respect the customers enough to at least give an effort to to tell a comic book story that's worth your time and effort you don't come back from issue two Get out of here, Doc. Oh, no, I get, I get that. My point is that, you know, they should have started the story on issue two, just not even released issue one, because... No, this isn't even a zero issue. All this was, was like, hey, How do you, do you know... Issue one? <laughs> hey, do you know what evolution is? There's biology and stuff, and survival stuff, and then, oh, and now we're going to get to the story. Yeah, um, like Silver I, I Swans care. here, who we don't get to see that character enough. Pretty cool villain. That's one of the better villains Wonder Woman has. But it, it's completely all, but, misused. But okay. Silver Swan, let, let's be honest. Silver Swan does not exactly sell comic books by any stretch as as a villain. No, Wonder Woman sells a comic book. I'm saying we have a villain here. Yeah, that's little used. You don't get to see the villain often. Can you at least take advantage of the situation to make something cool happen? It's just them talking. Yeah, it's just them talking about biology 101 nonsense. And then, and then guess what happens after that, Doc? And then she starts she goes, talking to Superman for 10 pages. Yep. About nothing. Yep. Um, yeah, it was 10 pages to establish that we understood. We all took, you know, seventh grade biology class. The uh, about a page and then about 10 pages to discuss what is the nature of being a hero and that that but that's it that's that's all we got and and the transition between them is the 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 pathetic comic book transition you have a conversation trope. and the last sentence of the the conversation ends on the new seed that's the yeah. transition now yeah well um, no what i mean is the save the baby or the captured a bad guy just that worn out trope um and that's that's the that's the transition and then it goes to the next stuff but none of this matters um it it really doesn't this is this was entirely set up nothing happens you wasted my you wasted our you money know what the, the series is about i guess wonder woman is chosen to, to represent be the champion. earth yeah, so like in some type of gladiatorial combat. Yeah, it's only is, one page where that's even remotely hinted at. That's the very last one. Yeah, Get and the fuck out of here. Not only that, but isn't that exactly what they're doing with Superman on that whole war world thing that well, he's I don't think doing? He was chosen world. by the gods and sucked out of existence. I Doesn't think he went matter, there on his own volition to fight for slavery or fight yeah, against but, slavery. But it's still going to you. be Earth. It's the exact same story. I'm, we just had a story it. about characters getting chosen to defend Earth in a tournament like three years ago from Steve Orlando. Yeah, it's 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 a tired. And we just had the the Lazarus tournament tournament and Robin that's about. Yeah, to there's a lot of fighting tournaments. Yeah, there's apparently the only th and then they just did a, you know, they hey, did a final. Maybe she'll yeah. be in a staring contest. <laughs> maybe she'll fuck a rock <laughs> yeah um, but, or a spelling bee <laughs> I wonder if this could get any worse <laughs> oh it could get worse it can always get worse I guess I, yeah. I sometimes I say that I'll be like well it can't get any worse and I'm always proven wrong so I'm not yeah. going to say that anymore but this look, is I, 
Kanan I, probably will get worse. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know who's. I mean, I barely know who the hell Stephanie Phillips is. I, I think I've read one thing by her in my entire She's life. I was Harley Quinn. Yeah, I was unimpressed, and I moved on. Um, Maybe we'll read the next Harley Quinn issue. I think one came out this week. Maybe we'll do the next one because I've heard it's atrocious. I heard it's really, really bad. All right, perfect for uh, a you show know, like this. Oh, you know what? Let's let's do it because um, I, I I need more. I, I I'm tired of my only shitty comics coming out of the X office. I don't <laughs> like DC. I don't like DC to begin with. It's not my. It's not like my my thing. So. But I'm I'm open minded to it. You just have to. All you have to do is not suck. And wow, that's not what you're gonna get sucks. here, Doc. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you anything to read. No assignments unless they're the worst of the worst. Oh, and uh, Riley Rosmo's art is worse than Mike Hawthorne, so that'll be a good one. Definitely be looking out. The next time there is an issue of Harley Quinn, Doc and I are gonna talk about it. But I've had enough of this. That thing all is right. atrocious. It's not worth your time and money. Let's talk about something that's actually really important to me. Exo Man of War is one of my favorite. Well, he's my favorite comic book character. I might have named one of my children after yeah. the uh, the Eric of Dacia character. Such a cool idea. Basically, you have Conan the Barbarian inside of an Iron Man suit that is, uh, you know, worshipped as a god by the vine. And we're way past that. We're years into the story and whatnot. And uh, Dennis Helpless Halib has come on board and t- told the most nonsensical, craziest, like, not in a fun way, just like, completely shits on the history of Exo Man of War, what the character represents and all the stuff that they've done to send him to Canada to like live in some lady's garage. I, I noped out after three or four issues and then I finally came back for this one. And I was like, you know what? Maybe Doc will be able to convince me this is good. But I know that's not true because I've read this damn thing. And this is <laughs> arguably worse than, than Wonder Woman Evolution because this is just exposition for 24 pages. It is. It's an it's an exposition. Really convoluted jump. exposition at that. I don't think Dennis Hopeless Hallam even knows what he's trying to say. Oh, there's no way this guy knows what he's saying because, look, I, I'm I'm a relatively smart guy. I mean, I'm not I'm not a genius by any stretch, but time travel doesn't make my head hurt. Um, AI and you know, like the Matrixy type stuff doesn't isn't convoluted for me. Um, this was just blather. It's gibberish. It is. He and said it, nothing for 24 pages. Yeah. Everything here was somebody that thinks they're really, really smart writing about different realities that are all kind of merging together of, you know, in a singularity, both. And what I mean by different realities is kind of the artificial um reality inside of a a computer and an ai system meeting into the real world and the merger of those two as the the ai becomes super intelligent and starts taking over the world to control the world this was the best I'm gonna be honest, could- most of the time I mock people that talk about mansplaining. I don't think it's real. And I, 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 even if it is real, I think it's, it's, it's a trumped up charge for the most part. This is 24 pages of mansplaining. And I'm, I'm, on, I'm not on board anymore. I think mansplaining is terrible, especially if it's coming from Dennis Hopeless Hallow. I, I, I wouldn't call this mansplaining. I'd call this full-splaining. It's it, it's a it's it's a dumb person. If this is what people think mansplaining is, I feel yeah. bad for you because this is awful. It, it, if you know what? If you like this, I would punch him. Yeah. Get out of it, here it, with this if, shit. If, this if, if this is mansplaining, I I will I will definitely definitely be on board. But this is more and like the, dumb. It's not very good either because when the computer is like integrating with our reality, it, it forms just, leaves. Yeah, it looks like leaves. Um, it's like what is this? Like, what is fucking poison ivy? Yeah, I'm like, Swamp thing wait, here? get out of here. Like, I, I, it took me like five pages to realize that that was supposedly some sort of weird, like, nano something or other I taking it over. G- maybe it's supposed to be gems. Yeah, maybe. Like, I thought it was like crystals. And then I'm like, wait, are those, is he like reseeding the earth and like taking it back to 
and archaic pre-industrial like the earth in its natural state kind of thing and then i'm and like, like oh no allowed to walk or something do you have to like sit on the crystals as they move yeah. you around and 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 the i and the the best he could come up with was getting really mad when people walk down the sidewalk yes there's no jaywalking under yeah. this uh this singularity um, the one kid's scared because he's got he's got sean hara which uh you know is is the name of the the suit that uh exo man of war Eric of Dacia is, is bonded with and the kids got is like I can't go out there people are getting killed for jaywalking it was like that happened in a comic book yeah I'm like I, I was sitting there going you know I feel like he recently watched that iRobot Will Smith movie with the really <laughs> fast moving cars um and how they're all tailgating each other but they're or, or was that minority report I don't remember Whichever one I don't it think was, iRobot. Whichever one it was that had the really fast moving cars on the the highway, and then you occasionally could take uh, manual control of it, but not when you're on the highway because everybody. Are you talking driving. about Fahrenheit 451? Am I? No, that wasn't. It couldn't have been that because this was older. Um, okay. But regardless, um, it was one of those ones from the 70s. No, this this one wasn't not that old. I mean, this would have been like a '90s, 2000s movie. Um, and uh, no, this whatever. Is, all of that's more interesting. What's going on here? I'm just <laughs> exactly. I'm like, so you just want to order civilization? Just go build an automated city somewhere. You don't need to bother the people. Like that's well, that's stupid. This is the frustrating part. I know you're not an Exo Man of War fan. I am. Yeah. Like the bond between Eric of Dacia, who's essentially non existent in this entire comic book. You have an Exo Man of War comic without it, Eric, whatever. It's between this kid and, and Sean Hara. And then we actually see like the physical manifestation in the virtual world of Sean Hara, like the way that they like their digital avatar or whatever. It's just a terrible idea. I don't know why they even decided to put out there, but it, the character's been in prison and, and talks so much because she's a chatty Cathy that she gave the secret away to of how they interact with, like how the oh, construct has like. Oh wait, so this chick has never been like you, you never, like she no. didn't have a body before. She was oh, I, I didn't realize that she no, was ever. Oh my We've god, never seen this character. That my god, that that was if you were designing a physical avatar for an ai you just did the worst job i have ever seen that is a terrible manifestation the evil version was better a better design because that one shouldn't have looked like a people it shouldn't have looked like a woman it shouldn't have looked like a man it shouldn't look human is it this is no, AI, like like an alien the suit that were like that were worshiping Shanhara, and they they look like the the aliens from John Carter Mars. Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't the is it this uh like is it that an alien suit? Yes, it's an extraterrestrial. Yeah, suit so, that is bonded with with the Visigoth uh, warrior. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, that's an alien suit. Why in the hell does it looks like some random white chick? I don't know. Why does the helpless Hal writing something I love? Because people I, uh, hate me, Doc. Apparently I think they so. did this despite me in my channel. I, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. This is, look, th this was like a Dunning Kruger test in, in in comics, and he was very, very much on the the far left side of this. Uh, he really, really, really thought he was being really, really smart, and he was really, really not smart. Like, very not smart. I, I, I'm trying to keep this in very simple terms for Dennis Hopeless Halibut or whatever the fuck his name is. There's um, a problem, Doc. Every comic book is potentially someone's first comic book. Someone could have watched some of my old videos where I said Exo Man War is my favorite character. This, you know, this, this is something you should read. They might go out there and they discover this comic book for the very first time. And you know what's going to happen if they open this and this is the very first comic book they ever read? They will never touch a comic they book again. They will never touch another comic book again because it's so convoluted and stupid and utterly fucking boring. Yeah. I, I'm, I was waiting for, like, 
Like I it's remember offensive how uninteresting this goddamn comic book is. It is. Um, you know, I read see, like I'm not entirely um a, a foreigner to Exo Man of War. I read some of the stuff in in like the way early nineties on stuff. Yeah, the Jim Shooter yeah, the shooter valiant stuff. Um and and while I was never a huge fan of it, I, I had a vague recollection of some of the basics on this. And none of this was interesting at all. Why? So the AI ended up in a giant volleyball or a... And well, it's always been a sphere that... that, yeah. that, that can, that's its form when it's not connected to him, is it's the sphere. Yeah. And, it's, and you know, it's sentient and whatever... Uh, whatever it has developed a little bit of a personality that you really only see interacting with with uh eric but it's just it's wilson with a speaking yeah. voice and an avatar now yeah it, it's it's wilson um this was the worst reimagining of castaway i've ever seen um Tom what, what's worse was, was it wonder woman of evolution or exo man War? which one was the worst comic book exo exo because at least Wonder Woman didn't attempt to be well. You know what they they both had a, some one thing one thing in common. They both were written by morons that thought they were being smart. That and is the downfall of many a comic book writer. It is. It's it's people with a borderline high school education that think that they're a lot smarter than they really are. You are not Warren Ellis. You do not read a bunch of white papers and future tech stuff and then figure out, I know you all want to be. You just don't want to admit it anymore because, you know, bad touch man or something. Um, no, you you all try to be Warren Ellis. None of you are on his level. None of you have an understa- a basic understanding of the kind of stuff that you're trying to do in these comics. You're 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 aiming for these big um, concepts with 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 your stuff, and you sound like a C level seventh grader talking about their I don't know whatever computer class they're in or uh, or, or or their bio class. That's that's what you sound like. You sound this like a thing season. was absolutely uh, atrocious. This is a very bad week. We definitely want to hear from the viewers. If you had a comic book that you think is actually worse than Wonder Woman Evolution or X Man War, let us know in the comment section. And the next time it comes up, we'll get that bad boy in the rotation. Doc and I will review it right here on the channel. We'll see if you're right or not. Because yep. we are looking for the worst of the worst, people. We're not no longer just going to concentrate on bad X-Men comics. There are enough of those. We're going to expand our horizons. We're going to talk about the worst comics out there, period. I do apologize that we won't be able to talk about Commanders in Crisis, but I'm sure uh, that dude will have another comic books in the in the near future. I do want to say thank you very much to Doc about uh, for, for reading some really bad comic books and being on board to read some even worse comic books in the future. Well, I thank you for inviting me, and I'm looking forward to doing this more regularly. I'd say that EXO was the worst comic.